Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barachi, welcome to Gear Corner. As I mentioned in my other video that came out today, it's a big day for Warm Audio because they release two brand new pedals, two faithful recreations of legendary pedals. The other video was about the ODD box, if you want to check out the video, it's going to be linked right here. This one is the Mutation Phasor 2, which is a faithful recreation of the legendary 70s Mutron Phasor 2. As you've heard in this intro playing this intro jam, the Mutation Phaser 2 can definitely do a very subtle, vibey, super sweet uh, phaser sound, but the pedal does so much more. Uh, we'll get into some crazy rate settings and everything, and we'll talk about four stage and six stage phasers. In case you enjoy what you're seeing here, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future videos coming up. And uh, check out the description box under the video. If you open it up, you'll find the product link for this pedal and uh, like links to all the other stuff that I use. You'll find my signal chain, timestamps and additional infos. So the Mutation Phaser 2 looks very close to the original, to the Mutron or Musitronics Phaser 2. Kind of bigger enclosure, not huge, but it's it's not small. It's not like a boss pedal, if you know what I mean. It has the same three knobs, feedback depth and rate, and the on-off switch plus the nine volt um, socket on the top, same as the two jacks for the in and output, which is awesome because it's already, kind of big. <laughs> it's nice having the connectors on the top so that you can put your other pedals right next to it and you don't lose uh, space on your pedal board. I'll start with showing the same settings on the Phaser 2 as what I used in the intro playing. But before I do that, I want to show you the, uh, the guitar and the amp without the pedal on and no pedals, no drive pedals, nothing on, which is this uh, really cool looking bomb guitars wingman and uh, going through the Tone King Imperial Mark II on its sort of blackface style rhythm, like clean channel. That goes into the aux box for a 2x12 cabinet simulation and then into the interface and into the computer. Pretty simple setup. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
since this is a six stage phaser, it does give you more chewy, more wet sound or more vibey kind of sound compared to something like a traditional four stage phaser, which would be something like the MXR phase 90 that if you if there's a word <laughs> that could describe the difference like tonal difference between a phase 90 style like four stage phaser and something like the phase or two which is a six stage as told um, it's like the four stage phaser phase 90 sounds drier it's a more obvious phasing and a six stage phaser especially this um, this mutron phase or two style sound is is more chewy more sort of uh warpy and and just a, a sweeter tone less dry sounding i know it sounds weird to say stuff like that but if you hear the two compared you know i think what i'm talking about <laughs> Let's see how the knobs react. Let's start with the rate, which uh, gets really fast, really quickly. And that's only four. Then with the depth, you can decide how subtle or intense the phasing effect should be. And the feedback helps to decide how the character of the phasing should be.
My Thoughts on the Mutation Phase or 2 by Warm Audio. Um, I love the looks, so that's a huge plus. Um, I don't mind the big enclosure. I know that could be sort of disturbing for people who really like compact pedals, but uh, this is not about making an old design much more practical or like, you know, change it in any way, really. This is a faithful recreation of the original pedal. And that also means the enclosure style and the size and everything. So it's it's a part of the deal. And I really do not mind it, even though as told, I could see that being an issue for those who really don't have a lot of space on a pedal board or just want to keep everything super compact. And about the sound, I love phasers. Univibes and phasers are hands down my favorite modulation effects. I'm, I use them and, and love them much more than anything else. Well, I also love um, harmonic tremolos, but let's be honest, that's in a way not very far from phasers and univibes. It's a different type of circuit, but the, the experience is the same. So the mutation phaser 2 fits the picture perfectly. It's my kind of phaser because it has a, a bit more warbly sweet detail in the tone thanks to it being a six stage phaser and thanks to its design Mutron was very well known for being one of the uh, the most forward-thinking pedal makers or effect makers in the 70s and they made sure of course that the um, the noise floor is as low as possible which uh, definitely is the case with the uh, warm audio pedal here as well so um Overall, it's just a very cool, very interesting sounding phaser that um, recreates something or pays tribute to something that's so legendary and yet has not been reissued a million times. Of course, there are modern versions of the uh, phaser too, but it's not like um, on MXR Phase 90 or anything else that's been reissued and sort of, you know, copied many times. This is much more unique and uh, and I love that. And also, as told, it's my kind of phaser. I love six stage phasers uh, that do this chewy tone. All right, let me know what you think about the Mutation Phaser 2 in the comments below and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.